What's up everybody, Kevin here from Scuffleberg Outdoors and in this video we will be setting up a Droop Pin Spring Mod in our Axial SCX-10-3. Stay tuned. SCX-10-3. I'm going to have the stock shocks on here and I have the spanners backed all the way out and the reason for the pin spring mod is when it's in a vertical position it wants to unload the front tires because the springs basically open all the way up and it wants to unload the pressure on the front end. So we're going to use these springs I got off Amazon. I don't use springs from a pin. So I have 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter springs. I think I'm gonna go with the 15 millimeter and they're a five millimeter uh, inside diameter. They'll work perfect. They'll go right over the shock shaft on the inside. So we'll pull you in here closer. And get... All right, so now that we got the shocks removed from the Axio SCX-10-3, as um, well, you can't see it, but they're already leaking. So a couple little tips here. This truck comes with a heavier duty or spring in the rear. It has a little red uh, paint on the bottom and the fronts have a green. So you just want to make sure not to confuse them and that you get them all back where you're supposed to be. They're already started leaking. So we're going to clean them up, dump the oil out and everything. And when after, we, before you start putting them back together, you want to tighten up like the, where the shaft comes out of the bottom of the housing, just finger tight as tight as you can get it that'll help the seals seal up better um, these shocks do leak but it'll work it works like a charm i've done it in several of them already so uh we'll get these dumped out cleaned up and i'll show you the springs bring in here closer and all right so we're back here i figured out why one of my uh caps was leaking as you can i don't know if you can see that or not but you see how that o-ring is boogered up it wasn't seated correctly. Thankfully, I have one out of my uh, capper shocks that I took out and stole because I have Proline Prospect Scaler shocks on my cap. So I got a new O-ring for it. Anyhow, what you want to do after the oil is all cleaned out and everything, like I said earlier, is you want to tighten this nut down right here. It's pro it's not tight enough. You might want to use a paper towel and just get it finger tight. And then also, you're going to need, well, you should have a set of link or shock shaft pliers or whatever to get the eyelets off. You take them. It doesn't gall up the uh, shaft when you take these off. It's easier to do it like this because you do not want to mess up that shaft because it will mess up the seals when you stick it back through. Anyhow, we'll get the rest of them done. All right, so now that we have all the rod ends removed from the shocks, you want to basically just take and push this out. Be very careful bringing the threads through the seals because there's seals in there. Take this, and like I said, we got five millimeter by 15, five millimeter inside diameter by 15 millimeter in length springs, stainless steel springs off Amazon. Do a little research and you'll find them. Anyhow, what we do is you want to take the shock shaft. Let's move this out of the way. Take the shock shaft, install the spring just like so. So this will sit in between the plunger and the bottom of the shock shaft housing. Take it, stick it back in there, just like that. And it shortens it up, but it, it pulls it back and keeps the shock from unloading in a vertical situation. Traction is key, and this will help. So we'll get the other three done real quick, and then we'll put the oil in. After your springs on inside are installed, you want to re replace your rod ends. Once again, using your link pliers, shock shaft pliers, whatever you call it. 
So after your internal springs are in there, you got the rod ends back on, it's time to fill them up with a wheel. So what we'll do, we'll use our handy dandy hobby park little vehicle stand and these holes are for shocks. You can put, use this right there. You can use these and if you've got a great big set of big boards, you can use that, but these go, well, they do hang in there. But anyhow, we're gonna use these right here. We're gonna put all these inside this little holder. And what we're gonna use is a factory team 30 weight oil. I like to use 30 weight in all my crawler shocks. Seems to work for me. I haven't used anything except 30 weight. Um, some of the vehicles come stock with 20 or 25, but I just use 30. Nice little happy medium. Anyhow, all you wanna do is install your oil. Now, after you have your oil installed into your shocks, you definitely, it will have air bubbles underneath. As a matter of fact, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Probably not. But you want to work them up and down. You can see the levels already drop because it's going through the holes on the ram inside, the little plunger job. And even these over full ones, I believe. Once you work them around, the air bubbles will start coming out. It'll get underneath there. We will need to top these off a little bit. And this time, we don't want to fill them out. Now, I will take after they're full, and you know the oil is under it, and like I said, just work it around. You'll still see air bubbles. And for the next little, you know, couple hours, you want to do this every once in a while. Make sure all the air bubbles are out of these shocks. All right, so we're back. It's been a few hours, been bleeding the air out of the shocks. I've got three of them put back together, and I figured I'd just show y'all one. Because these are X Axial SCX-10-3 shocks. They're a little different. Um, same with the Capra. These have little bleeder screws in the top here. Get it tight. See, it will not push in when you put the cap back on it. So what you need to do, I believe the, uh, the Vanquish incision, incision shocks are the same way. Take this little bleeder screw out of the top here. You see it started oozing oil already. Push this in, and you'll see the extra oil start coming out. Maybe not, I don't know, it is a camera. Then put the bleeder screw back in it. Oil, and it should work. If it doesn't bottom out in there, it's got a little bit of too much oil. So we'll take this off again. it up just a little bit wipe it off bleeder screw back in probably have to do it twice especially if you got them over full perfect you can hear it bottom out in there wipe off the extra oil and now we'll get these bad boys back on the truck well and just like that the pin spring mod for the axial scx 10 3 is done I've turned 90 millimeter shocks into about 75 millimeters and uh, it still has plenty of flex, no problems. You will lose a little bit. The springs, the 15 millimeter springs compressed, compressed down to four millimeters each. So by the time you go from the back corner to the front corner, you lose eight millimeters. Really doesn't matter. I mean, if you're that anal, sorry. It works for us because we go on vertical. All right. Anyway, Kevin, Scuffleberg Outdoors, later.